Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen from TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Do you know TravelCostaRicaNow.com is a travel agency? If you go right now to TravelCostaRicaNow.com and fill out the four minute form, we will do the rest for you. You will have a great Costa Rica vacation. We do everything, man, the transportation, we do your hotels, your tours, everything. We're like you guys having best friends that live in Costa Rica that totally hook up your Costa Rica vacation. All right. Hey guys, you know, this video is about uh, experiencing Costa Rica maybe at another level. You know, everybody, almost everybody that comes down here has a great time. Um, you know, there's the zip lines here and the rappelling and the waterfalls and the you know, the rafting, there's all those things, and they're great, and when you do them, it is a great time. But what I wanna do is give you some things that maybe take that great time and make it more of an experience in Costa Rica, something that will be with you like the rest of your life that you'll remember, man, I had a great experience in Costa Rica, so I got a few things that you might wanna think about or consider when you're down here, all right? Now, the first few, Yes, you've heard them before probably. They sound kind of like travel tips, but I'm only telling you them to you first. So the rest, it makes the rest of them better, all right? So they're just very quick and uh, um, you probably, you might've heard a couple of them before. Okay, number one, don't forget your mosquito repellent, your sunblock, your Dramamine or ginger if you prefer, and toilet paper. Uh, same again, mosquito repellent, sunblock, Dramamine or ginger, or your toilet paper. Those should be self-evident, okay? That's number one. Number two, don't try to see too much. I know Costa Rica is a small country, and it seems like, oh, we'll just zip around. Shh, shh, shh. No, you won't. You do not want to see Costa Rica mostly from a car, okay? So don't do that. Um, pick a couple places and, and stick around them, all right? Um, I want you to pack light. I want you to pack light. You do not have to dress to impress here. Matter of fact, you can bring stuff maybe you're going to throw away after you wear them, man. You just don't, you don't want that stress. It's all, think of it like this. If someone stole your pack, you'd be like, I don't care. There was nothing in there anywhere. No, your stuff shouldn't get stolen. I'm just saying, think of it like that. That's the kind of clothes you should be bringing down here, okay? Um, if you're flying, if you're, if you don't spend too much time in San Jose, okay? I'm not saying there's not things to see in San Jose, but that's not the real experience of Costa Rica. That's like going to Detroit. You know, uh, if you're flying in there, get out. Sorry, people from San Jose, all right? Um, this one is much easier said than done. Uh, and it sounds like, oh, you don't got to tell us that, Mike. Well, I think I do, because I know, I know we had a problem with it. Uh, as well. So I want you to check your gringo attitude when you get off the plane here. I want you to embrace the Porta Vida here. I want you to learn to go with the flow, chill, chillax a minute, you know, get rid of that go, 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 go mentality. Because, you know, when me and D'Angelo uh, first came here, our, I think our next day we were going rafting and the, the van didn't show up on time. So they were like five minutes late and we're like, oh my gosh, they're late. They forgot about us. They don't even know we're here. Oh, we need to make calls. Oh my gosh, we're not going to go. It's going to ruin our day. They came. All right. And I know that's a little bit of a dr dramatic example, but I want you to chill. Get off the plane and leave your country and your thinking and your expectations and all that behind and embrace the Porta Vida here. All right. I know it sounds easy, but you'll see, you'll see. Um, also, less phone, more observation, man. Less phone, more observation. Take your picture if you have to, take your video if you have to, but put your phone away and let it come to you, man. Observe, sit for a second, relax, take it all in, all right? Okay, so those were the preliminaries. That's the foundation of what I'm getting ready to tell you, that I think these things, if you do a few of these things, I think it's gonna enhance your experience in Costa Rica. Number one, maybe the biggest one, talk Spanish, man, talk Spanish. I don't care if you know three words. You know, hola, como estas, and cerveza. Work those in every sentence if you have to. Talk to your drivers, talk to your bartenders, talk to people on the street, talk to, to uh, fruit stand people, you are gonna run into some characters, man. And it's 
fun. It's fun. It's fun. Even if they don't know much English, you're playing charades or get out your translation on your translator on your phone, whatever it takes. Have those conversations as much as you can. Ask them about themselves, man. Don't let him ask about you. Ask about his life. Ask about him. Where's he from? What Does he have family? Are they here? What's going on? It's fun, man. And it doesn't even matter the communication. The facials are fun. You end up laughing and you meet some of the, the greatest people doing that. Trust me on this. And it does not matter about your Spanish. It really doesn't. It matters that you're trying. That's number one. Um, number two, I want you to try to stay at local places. I want you to eat maybe more in the sodas. They call them sodas here, like, like little mini diners. They're family run. They just have some chairs. Sometimes they're in houses. You, you, and they say usually soda. They, they do the rice and beans, a piece of chicken. No, it's not the greatest. But man, you're giving back to the community. You can talk to the family a lot of times or the people that work there. And that's great. And also with the hotels even, you know, you can stay at, uh, try to find little uh, eco-friendly lodges or, or uh just a Tico run establishments. And you know what, you rich people, get out of your uh, all inclusives, man. Experience, you know, the, the, the culture. You're not really experiencing anything saying all inclusives. That's just my, that's my opinion. Um, I want you to go where the locals go, all right? That's gonna be your best experiences. Have you been to a bullfight in Costa Rica? Oh my God, it is a hoot. They don't kill the bull, man. They don't kill the bull. It's fun. They all, a bunch of them, get drunk and run out in the ring and try to get the tail of the bull. And it, the bull hits them, and it's all fun. But they bring their families. They're drinking beers. They have their little free day. And it's a whole family thing, man. It's, and it's kind of a cool thing to experience how they kind of do family events. And it's the same. Um, they have a, a parades a lot here in the towns. And if you run across a parade, watch it. Yes, it's a bunch of xylophones and drums, you know, and one right after another, 16 bands dinging the same xylophone, the same drums. But, you know, it's just fun to observe all the people around it while it's going on because they go, they support, you know, they're rah, rah, rah. And, you know, it's a, it's a great experience. It's like a small town experience. And you get to see the Costa Rica culture there. So uh, it's the same with they have carnivals. You know, the carnivals come all over the country, just like... Uh, you know, when, when we were younger, you know, the darts on the balloons, the, the rip-off cement throwing the balls at, they have those here, man, and they're fun. And it's not that that's it. It's the experience of just the locals going there because those are events here, you know. Uh, those are big events. You know, families, you know, look forward to that Friday or Saturday night that they get to walk around the carnival and get their, you know, their corn or their rice or whatever they're eating. And it's fun, and you should go to them. So, uh, the other thing, markets, green markets. Every town here has a green market or, or, or an organic market. Even San Jose has them, a lot of them. Go into the markets, man. People are bringing their vegetables. The locals are bringing their vegetables and their fruits and their fish and their chicken. You don't have to buy anything. Just walk around, man. Again, Spanish, talk, just talk. Hey, man, where'd you catch this fish? Try to, try to, try to say it. Look it up in your translator and say it. Um, so the markets are cool, and that's, it also goes with the fruit stands you see along the freeway or the fruit stands and trucks on, on, uh, on just some of the roads piled up with papaya or some fruit you never even knew existed, or I've never seen that fruit. Stop! A, they're cheap. B, they're freaking delicious. All right? And again, not a lot of people stop. They're trying to get to their destination. Zoom, 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 zoom. Stop. Stop and get some experiences, all right? Um... Uh, number four, volunteer, man. There's a lot of places to volunteer in Costa Rica. They have wildlife refuges. There's dog rescues. There's organic farms. There's a million places to volunteer. I think it's great for kids as well to do that, to kind of give back and see how, you know, see how they work with the sloth or, you know, the injured sloth or the broken wing of the toucan. I think it's very interesting to uh, have that experience. I know me and D'Angelo have uh, been uh, privileged to go to a lot of those places, and they're just really cool it's educational it's fun you feel like you're giving back a little bit and along those same lines visit a school man you know the schools a lot of the schools here need help because they're you know they're very rural and you know you're you, again you're going to zip by them boom 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 because you got to get to your rafting or you got to get to the next town stop by a school man maybe you brought some paper maybe you brought some pencils or some crayons you stop in and you know no yes it's unannounced but they'll probably take you in they might even show you around the school and so what if they don't 
hand them the paper, the pencils, take a cup, you know, do whatever. Have the experience. And again, the schools, I think, are a great experience for if, you're, if you are traveling with any kids so they can see how other people live, how other people, you know, are, you know, in the educational system and such. So I think that's also great. Um, the other thing's going to sound, I know it's, I know these things are going to sound a little zen, but I think in the world in which we live in now, I think we could use a little zen actually. So get up early, get up early at least one day. And I don't mean because you have to get up early. I mean, get up early, 515, 530. I've been down here 14 years. My best experiences, my best pictures, the sounds of the howler monkeys and the toucans and everything are always best in the morning. It's way cool. You can just take it in, leave your phone in your room and walk around. And maybe you're not by a jungle. Maybe you're, maybe that day you're in a, uh, you're by a neighborhood, a local neighborhood. Go walk their neighborhood, man. Watch them come out in their little u hotel uniforms and, you know, getting ready for school. And the old guy with the weed whacker getting ready to do his day of weed whacking. Go walk around, man. Take it in. Observe. Um, I do recommend you try to find a trail at least one time in your uh, uh, while you're in Costa Rica. Because some some of you are just doing beaches maybe or something, but you want to try to hit a trail at some point. And even if it's in the rain, man, I I I know that it rains a lot here, and you're probably going to experience rain anyway. But if you don't, and it does rain, I would I would really I think you should go out in the rain, man. And especially if you can find you know a, a little trail in the jungle or something, man. The colors that the rain makes with the different hues of green and yellows and all that is just unfreaking believable and a, and a great experience. So I don't know, man. I just think take some time to smell the roses, man. Take some time instead of just jetting around for to this tour, to that tour, to that hotel. We got to get there, man. Chill for a minute. Chill. Do some of these things. I think it's going to take a great vacation to Costa Rica to where it takes up a couple notches to an experience that you probably won't forget and that you, maybe your kids will never forget too. All right, guys, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Do you know we're a travel agency? <laughs> we are. Uh, anyway, guys, things are going to start popping up like they do. That's how YouTube does it here. You can see other videos I've made. You could subscribe somewhere here. Or you can just bring me down some CBD oil. <laughs> All right, man.